morning, everybody. Good morning. It's JPRP78, and today I am back with my second top 10 video for, you know, every individual region. This one is for the Johto region, because obviously, you know, Johto comes after Kanto, and I already did Kanto. But most of you guys like the Kanto videos, so, you know, let's continue on with this. Sorry, it's a bit late, because there's been, like, a ton of schoolwork lately. Man, that crap is insane. But anyway, that doesn't even matter now. Let's get into this. Number 10. Octillery. For the majority of my childhood, I always thought that Octillery was like a really, really weird Pokemon because he's like a little fish thing that evolves into a octopus. And that was like, what the heck is going on, man? I mean, really? But after a while, I figured, oh, it's more not the thing that it's the fish that evolves into the octopus. It's more like the gunfish, the gun that evolves into the cannon. So I was like, oh, that makes more sense. So after I discovered that, I started like... You know, like an Octillery a little bit more. He's always been kind of a rare Pokemon in Johto, mainly because I just didn't know how to find him. But he's always been a great Pokemon. He learns so many awesome moves. Ice Beam, he has Bullet Seed, he has Surf, he has anything you want, man. Signal Beam, I think, is in there, too. Octillery is just an amazing Pokemon to use. Number 9. Ho-Oh. Now, I have to be honest, I really don't like putting legendaries on my list, but I must admit, Ho-Oh deserves a spot on this list. Ever since the very first Pokemon anime episode where Ash saw that Ho-Oh, it just stole my imagination. I was like, dude, that is the coolest Pokemon ever. It was like all gold, they didn't even have like its proper colors made yet. It was just amazing, man. And since that moment, I was like, dude, I just love whatever that thing is up there flying in the sky. And then, you know, Pokemon 2000 came along and everybody started loving Lugia instead. And I was like, eh, I'm not going to jump on the Lugia bandwagon. Ho-Oh is still the one that I love. So, Ho-Oh, you're amazing. Nothing can change that. Number 8. Houndoom. Houndoom is not your typical dog. I mean, you look at Arcanine, who is very cool. And you look at Mightyena, who is very cool. And you look at Stoutland, who is cool. And then you look at uh, whoever the Kalos dog was. Was there a Kalos dog? Oh yeah, Furfru. But yeah, all those guys seem alright. But Houndoom, he's a step outside the box. I mean, look at this guy. He's not just your average dog. He's like a freaking like hellhound. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, look, he's like the devil of Pokemon, yet he's still a good guy. Yet, I don't know. He has solar powers, his ability when he mega evolves. It's just an awesome Pokemon to use. Number 7. Espeon. Espeon is probably my second favorite evolution behind Jolteon. Main reason for it is, whenever I was a kid and I liked to play Pokemon Coliseum all the freaking time, Espeon was like the main powerhouse on my team. I set up those screens, you know, the light screen and the reflect, and then I go and I just psychic everything. Oh, it was so powerful, man. Nothing could stop that Espeon. So I just loved Espeon ever since then. It's just proved to be a powerhouse that can... It can set up screens, I already said, it can attack, it can use Morning Sun, it just has everything you need, man. It's amazing. Number 6. Azumarill. The reason I really love Azumarill is because it's like the whole looks can be deceiving thing. I mean, look at that, it's like a freaking blue rabbit that is shaped like an Easter egg, what? Yet at the same time, he has the ability Huge Power, so you can put a Choice Band on that guy, and when it comes to competitive battling, he can just wreck anything. Plus, now he's a fairy type, so he's an extra stab when it comes to using the move Play Rough. So you have Play Rough, you have Aqua Tail, you have Aqua Jet, you have Waterfall, you have all sorts of awesome moves that this guy can use with the choice. I mean, he can annihilate anything in a Wi Fi battle. I mean, of course, he's not the fastest and he's not the most bulky Pokemon in the world, but when it comes to just raw power with that huge power ability, it's just off the chain. Oh yeah, and it's cute too. Number 5. Jeez, there are a lot of water type Pokemon on this list, right? Oh man, but Feraligator is just amazing. He is without a doubt one of the best designed final starter evolutions. A freaking alligator slash crocodile thing? What is that, man? That is just amazing. He's got the spikes, he's got everything. I mean, plus his name is composed of the words Feral and Gator, or well, I guess you could say Gatar, but you know, that doesn't matter. He's still an awesome looking Pokemon with an awesome name. He gets Dragon Dance, so he can just do whatever he wants and walk about. He's an RU, so he's kind of an underdog, 
but I like him because of that. He's just an awesome Pokemon. I never really use him that much when it comes to just the main storyline because I usually use another star Pokemon besides for Alligator, but he's still amazing nonetheless. Number four, Caesar. Caesar's design just screams raw power. That thing is amazing. Plus he has that technician ability. Technician, he can use bullet punch, thief, pursuit, bug bite, moves that you really wouldn't consider ever using on any other Pokemon. Because of Technician, you can really just have a lot of fun with Caesar because, you know, he can make moves that would normally not be that competitive and make them work and just sweep with them. That is what Caesar does, and that is why everybody loves Caesar. He's OU. He is like the most loved bug type ever. Number three, Raikou. Just like ho -Oh, I like Raikou because he's kind of an underdog because he never got that movie like the other two did. Like, you know, Entei was in the third movie, Suicune was in the fourth movie. This guy did appear alongside the other two in the 13th movie, but that was like a Zoroark movie, so... I mean, he never really had the main spotlight that the other two did. But still, nonetheless, it doesn't mean he sucks more than the other two do. But come on, he's like a Japanese thunder demon, but he looks like a tiger. It's just an amazing design. What can you not like about that design? As that is a pure electric type. And if you guys have watched my videos for a while, then you know I love electric types. So this guy being a electric type powerhouse is just awesome. Number two, Typhlosion. As I said earlier in the video, I never really use Feraligator in the Johto region because I always use freaking Typhlosion. Let's be honest, I mean, Cyndaquil is like the cutest star Pokemon ever and then he evolves into this thing you think the little fire mouse wouldn't become that impressive later on you think he wind up like freaking eradicate and he look terrible but no this guy becomes a freaking typhlosion and it's just amazing there i can't really describe typhlosion there's not really a word that can describe how i feel about you know typhlosion's awesome design he is pure fire, which is kind of a letdown, but nonetheless, he's a very agile Pokemon, which I like, and he has that move Eruption. You guys have no idea how good it felt back in the day to just use Eruption on everything. And as I said, you know, he's agile, so he wouldn't get hit in advance unless it was like a priority move, so, you know, that Eruption was almost always at full power, and it could just KO anything in one hit. Typhlosion, bro, you are my best friend. Number one. Heracross. Who doesn't love Heracross? He's a bug fighting type, which is very unique. I don't think there's any other bug fighting types out there. Heracross is the whole reason that I go around Johto always headbutting the trees in my Pokemon, just in hopes of finding one of these guys, because it is so worth it later on in the journey. You guys have no idea how good Heracross is. I mean, even in a competitive Wi-Fi battle, he's amazing. You can put on a choice scarf, he has the Moxie ability. Anything with Moxie is a powerhouse. So, you know, you'd raise his speed with that choice scarf, he close combats, Mega Horn, Stone Edges, anything that comes his way, and he just gets a sweep going better than anything in Yu-Yu. It is just an awesome Pokemon to use. So Heracross, you have the honor of being my favorite Johto region Pokemon.